Hello there, welcome to Godly Living with Folu. I am Folu. Okay, before I go into the stories for today, please kindly subscribe to this channel. Don't leave this channel without subscribing. Just press the red button there below the video. And I pray that as you do so, God bless you. And at the same time, please don't forget to like and share this video. Thank you. Thanks so much. All right, let's look at what we have for us today. The first story, Pastor Paul Adepharacin of Owls on the Rock announces the resignation of 300 workers from the church. And at the same time, Bishop David Oedepo of Winners Chapel announces plan to plant new churches, 10,000 new churches. Alright, so Bishop David Oedepo, the presiding bishop and founder of Living Faith Church worldwide, has announced the Living Faith Church, aka Winners Chapel, We'll be planting 10,000 more churches to add to about 11,000 churches presently on ground, totaling 21,000. It should be recalled that the Winners Chapel planted our first five churches in 1987 and had extended to other African nations in 1994. In 2001, she reached out to some other continents of the world and by 2009, there were about 700 churches planted. The goal this year is to double the number of churches worldwide. Bishop Oedeku also said, as the number of branches will be doubled, the church will be spending at least additional 600 million naira on wages. This, therefore, totals about 900 million increase in the salary of pastors over January 2019. Okay, now in another development, the founder and senior pastor of House on the Rock Church, Pastor Paul Adifarasin, has reportedly announced that about 300 workers of the church are standard resignation letters. The announcement was made at the Rock Cathedral, Lekki, Lagos, Nigeria. Pastor Paul revealed the said members took the decision to resign as a result of economic hardship in the country, which made them decide to relocate to Canada to be precise. Pastor Paul was quoted to have encouraged his members to stop blaming the government and political parties, as blame game is the first symptom of irresponsibility. Well, that's that is the latest from House on the Rock. You know, Pastor Paul Adifarasin, and it's like, uh, should, I, I don't know if I should say welcome development, but we thank God for the life of the workers that, that served the church, and now they are moving on, and we wish them the very best. But on a lighter mode, it's like Canada is a new heaven, and if you really want to go to Canada, maybe you're planning to move to Canada, I am suggesting maybe you should get close to one or two House on the Rock church members so that they will put you through it's like they have the key i mean just one branch 300 people relocating already and the year is still very young who knows how many people will relocate before the end of the year okay that is just like on a lighter mode and um the advice of Pastor Paul is very important. As believers, we should not leave the, the, the responsibility of our life to the government. The government will play their role, yes, but at the same time, we should take charge of our life. We should not. Our life should not be bad because the government is bad or because the economy is bad. And our life should not be good because the economy is good. At the, at the end of the day, it is about you. I remember that there is no government that can satisfy everybody. The government will do its part and at the end of the day some people will be successful and some people will struggle and i pray that as we journey into 2020 we are not going to be among those that will struggle but we will not just survive we will, we will excel in everything we do in the name of jesus all right thanks for joining me today thanks for tuning into this channel thanks for watching before i go don't forget to subscribe i remain yours truly for Lou. Thanks for watching. Bye.